Hello, Pat again. Just here to recap my whole time in Australia. Um, from my previous videos, you're able to see I was able to do a lot. So I'll just go through a bit of that now, um, give you some tips, and hopefully you can take a trip like that someday. Um, on the way there, we were smart and we stopped in um, Fiji. So that made the plane a little bit shorter and got to see another really cool place. Um, everything about that was awesome. And from there, we went into Brisbane, which was an hour south of where my school was. Um, there is, that's a little bit of a city, similar to Boston, kind of, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, very nice city, a lot to do. From there, we went up to the Sunshine Coast and we stayed in an Airbnb for a week until our apartment was open. We were able to stay right on the beach. The beach we were on was beautiful, had nice walks up and down. Um, there was a light tower right above us. It was really nice to go see. Um, the beaches were spectacular. The sand was incredible. It felt like the fake sand at Brookstone. Um, the waves were huge, something that no one in the States will ever see here, I would guess. Um, and then moved into my school about a week and a half into being there. And the school there was a lot different and it was a great time. We had class once a week and then about two to three hours of work other than class each week. Um, it was nice to be able to get all the stuff done by Monday or Tuesday and then go to class for a tutorial and have a long weekend. Three or four day weekends weren't too bad with the beach right there. Um, one of the easier things that's a little bit nerve wracking going into studying abroad is transportation, but there they made it really easy. There was buses every five, 10 minutes going everywhere throughout the Sunshine Coast. Um, they had a special bus to bring you right to the train, right from campus. Um, so transportation was nothing to be worried about at all. Um, we were lucky and getting an apartment was fairly easy as well, as, was, as it was for everyone else. There's three complexes right there and everyone kind of intermingles. Um, really nice place, really hot. A lot of kangaroos on campus, which was really cool. Um, throughout this video, you'll see a lot of beaches. You'll see some kangaroos and just some other things that I was able to see and do when I was there. Um, I tried making it a thing to see just about all the major spots when we were there. Um, the only spot we didn't make it to is the middle. The middle of Australia is a desert with a very small population, if any. Um, and everything is basically on the coast, emphasizing that it is just a huge island. Everywhere you are, all you see is water when you look out. It's beautiful, the water is warm, the water is amazing. Um, I think I almost went in the water five times a week for the past five months. So getting back into Boston right now is a little tough. The water here is a little colder. Um, but everything about Australia was amazing. Um, the school did a lot for us between the teachers being super welcoming and nice and the student center having a lot to offer for us and bringing in, bringing abroad students together, which made everything really easy. The transition really easy. It made me, me made me feel really comfortable. Um, the only tough thing about being so far away is there was about a six hour window where we were able to talk to family and friends from here. Um, and we wake up in the morning till about noon and then right before bed from about 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. people start waking up. But other than that, you're off the phones, you're in Australia. Um, uh, it was tough to get bored in Australia. Um, always something to do between going on a bike ride or just going to the beach and sitting out. Um, Making sure I was on top of school was a big thing. Um, I like getting that over with. So I had more time for the beach. Um, and on the way home, I did a similar thing on the way there. I stopped in Hawaii to make the, stop, uh, the travel a little bit, um, a little bit condensed, I guess, with a couple shorter flights, which made it a lot easier and a lot more fun. Um, but now I'm back at home and I'm excited and I'm happy to see my family and all my friends again. And I'm excited for next semester. Um, I'm gonna go to Scotland. And I'm excited about that. I hope I can blog that too.